All right. So I think pretty much everybody remembers this from a couple weeks ago. This is the chainsaw attachment that goes onto a grinder. Now, when I made that video, everybody, and rightfully so, was rioting in the comments because I took my Milwaukee grinder and like chopped the attachments off to where the guard attaches to try to make this thing work. See, I'm a Milwaukee guy. I've only used Milwaukee grinders. So I didn't know that other grinders, like the, like the, I don't even know what you call it, like the barrel part or whatever. Uh, I didn't know that it was that, that Milwaukee does it different than pretty much everybody else. So a lot of you guys in the comments said to go to Harbor Freight and that the way that the, the way that the Harbor Freight grinders are made will work better uh, with this. So I went to Harbor Freight, got me a nice uh, bower and it should work. It actually looks like a, a very nice grinder. And the nice part is I shouldn't have to uh, cut anything off of it. It's got a nice little trigger. I like that. And this is the way that the guard works. And apparently this is a very common design and a lot of grinders use this design where this thing just has kind of like a, almost like a hose clamp type of design that you just clamp it around the grinder and then you can put it in whatever orientation you want. <laughs> this is the first time I've seen this design. I thought everybody did it the way Milwaukee did where it's got like a spring and teeth and stuff. Okay, we don't really need any of that stuff. And a lot of you also said that <laughs> if I use the correct grinder, I will need the, I think I called it like a bracelet, the rubber like O-ring thing. So we need this. This one's a little bit different, so I don't know if maybe... Come on. Looks like we're not gonna... Not gonna be able to do it quite the same. We're gonna take this off, probably. get on there the threads are like kind of jacked up okay I hope this ends up working out like way better okay that actually seems I like that fitment and this thing does uh it does slide in there a lot better than the Milwaukee. So we should be able to slide this O-ring on here. If this work if this works like really good, I'm going to be so happy because for some reason I really like this thing for some reason. I really like the idea. Even though if you want a chainsaw, you should just buy a chainsaw. You shouldn't necessarily buy an attachment for a grinder. I think I just like it because the idea of something that like in theory, doesn't really sound like that good of an idea and doesn't really sound like it would work that good. And it actually works. I think I just like it for that reason. There we go. That's, that's way better. Really get that thing pushed down in there. It actually looks like it was just made for it. To be honest. That literally, that literally is gonna fit perfect. It grabs a hold of the O-ring perfect. <coughs> this is literally, and the, the O-ring should, as many of you pointed out, should stop vibration, which should keep it from falling off. That, I mean, that's not even tightened up. Oh yeah. That is so much better. That's still, like I said, that's not even tightened up. Oh, this is, oh, that feels rock solid too. Even the Milwaukee, even whenever I would get it tight, it would still like kind of feel, it still kind of have like some back and forth play. This has nothing. This feels absolutely rock solid. 
Everything, it, it looks, it literally, I mean, you guys were right. It literally looks like it was made for this, which is really nice. And if it, if it works as good as it feels right now, I don't even think I'm gonna take this grinder off of this thing. I think I'm just gonna leave it together just because I like it so much. Last little Titan. Let's give this thing a couple test bumps. See if it works. All right, moment of truth. I think that chain might be just a little bit, might be a little bit too tight. But that feels, that is absolutely solid. I mean, that is a million times better than it was before. Cause the, like, before just a couple bumps and it would vibrate loose. So, uh, let's cut some stuff. All right, let's stop messing around and let's do a cut. I'm telling you, this thing feels rock solid. Completely different experience. Let's see. I accidentally hit the locking, <laughs> the locking button. But that, uh, I feel like that was just a, a tiny bit slower. I think that's quicker. So I'll, I'll do it again just to make sure it's fair. That is 100% quicker. I feel like also, I feel like I need to loosen up the chain a little bit. I tightened it up before the video, but I feel like it's getting tighter for some reason. All right, I think I got the chain, t the chain tension about perfect. So let's see if we could do something that we couldn't do before, which is like two cuts in a row. That'd be amazing. That is beautiful. And it's not even, I mean, not even the slight bit loose. No, not rattled, nothing. Let's see, the chain, I don't, maybe some chainsaw experts can like chime in in the comments. Why does the chain tighten up as I use it? Because this is like significantly tighter than it was before I started. And I just loosened it up. So why would it get tighter when I use it? Let's see. I'm gonna do a couple, let's just do like three or four cuts, like down and then up and down and up. Just see if it holds together. hit the table there for a second okay so that is the chain that chain is really hot oh now the chain's not quite as tight maybe it was like in a in a little bit of a bind or something because now it's kind of loosened up now it's got some heat into it anyway that's weird so <laughs> that and it's still i mean this thing is absolutely rock solid with, with the milwaukee this thing was like ready to separate at any given moment. I'm glad that I revisited this and I'm literally probably just going to leave this set up exactly like this just because I like it so much. Um, actually, I might look around to see if there's like like a high quality version of this because obviously, like I said before, this is only 30 bucks from Amazon. So if I could find a, like a high quality version of this and then maybe if you paired it with like a, a uh, cordless grinder I mean, I think that would be, that would be amazing. It'd be just like a, uh, just like a regular chainsaw. Thank you guys so much for watching. I just wanted to kind of redo this and come back and visit this and uh, say that you guys were right. The uh, Harbor Freight grinder is the way to go. So thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it.